We're here with members of the Johnson and Wales University men's basketball team, which lost 101 to 85 to Tufts University in the third round of the NCAA Division III men's basketball championship today. From left to right, Tom Garrick, head coach Jamie Benton, and Quarry Greenaway. Coach, could you make some comments about tonight's game? Well, I think they, they got out. You know, if you look, you look, you look at the stat sheet, they first half, I thought they played tremendous. And, you know, it was, they were definitely up for the game. They, they, I think they shot 62% in the first half. Uh, um, you know, we made some, I thought we made some good runs in, in the first half. We just let them get off to a, a great start. Um, I just thought our guy, you know, you know, you, you take most teams, I think we we finished the half definitely, you know, competing and swinging. You know, when the team gets out shoots sixty two percent and I think we at least you know, we shot forty three percent in the first half and you know, we didn't go to the line much in the first half, but we, they they just shot the ball well. I mean they were they were fresh and they shot the ball well and you know, we, we, we made some runs there and I thought the, I thought the big kid was definitely tough down low. Um, you know, he just made some he made some plays um, throughout the game. And is that uh, Haladinia? Is that his name? Number eleven? Is that how you say his name, Haladinia? Yes. You know, he, he um, is he. What year is he? Senior. He's a senior. And uh, you know, I think both of these both of those seniors, Tommy and him, you know, they 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 really. Um, Got it going tonight, like, but he really he really stepped up and, and you know he, he shot the ball well. I thought he made some tough uh, tough plays. He grinded out on a, on a few plays, and you know uh, you know when we go, make no mistake about it. Both of these guys, you know, in order for us to go, they both have to be going. And, and I'll, I'll live with you know uh, Corey's game, and I told him you know I, I live with that for the rest of my life. So I'm like, he, he's my guy, right? and. Uh, of course, we all want to win, but we signed up for this too. And, and, and I know it's hurting these guys, but um, it's, it's, it's always tough to lose. Um, I think that's what also makes them tremendous special. We watch every year, one shining moment, and we can't wait for it. And a lot of this agony, and then the final piece of that is, you know, somebody's got a victory, but it's uh, it's a beautiful thing. I think these, what these guys went through, he's one all time, you know, leading scores. They both are. You know, um, we got some guys to come through, come through there, and um, you know, I, I, I'll tip my hat to these guys. Uh, you know, uh, they outstanding. I know Corey. You know, Corey. Uh, he gives you everything he has every single night. He may not a show up for him in the stat sheet with the points wise, but these two are guys. Did them, did the motor, um, and without a motor, you don't have anything. So they are motors and. <coughs> You know, we just have to, we just take this, take this one home. They, 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 they played out of their minds, so they gave everything they had. Great, great year. Um, Questions? I mean, coach, we talked at one point earlier. This is from D through hoops when you, you know, you guys run on a winning streak. You hadn't lost recently since yeah. Albertus Magnus. I mean, yeah. you ran the table in the GNAC. You, yeah. you know, two really big wins last weekend in upstate New York. Yeah. Um, and Coach Allen obviously commended you for this, but just kind of. Just maybe I know again. I mentioned it's hard right now to kind of you know digest all of this, but just you know you had one hell of a season. So if you could just kind of maybe just you know if there were certain moments that you really felt. I mean you had that long winning streak early yeah. on. You went out west to kind of get things well, going. Well, you know with, with the winning streak, I, you know and I I think that the um, you know going out west really depends. I had a coach call said man that's like the Celtics when they went to Italy and I told these guys so we reflect back on the whole season and. He said going out over there was like going overseas. Man, we thought we wanted to see that competition and, and playing the gym so like this to that atmosphere. We went right down the green with Paul. But I, I, I really think these guys really stepped up. And after that, Burtis, you know, um, they they just they handled us that day. And to, to, to respond the way they did um, was just out, out, outstanding. And we actually thought, I thought as the coach I said to them, I said, well, they're gonna have to come up and beat LaSalle. LaSalle beat them. Mm -hmm. So we thought that, because I think LaSalle played right after us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, that didn't work in our favor. Albertus was ready, yeah, but, but what these guys did to close out the year, and like you said, going up to Plattsburgh and, and winning the first round game, and then winning the second one, and um, 
you know, it, it is hard. It is hard right now, but you know, we, we play some outstanding basketball. I mean, me, you, uh, me and Tommy had a moment, but you know, Tommy's like a son to me because me and his dad are like, <coughs> best friends, and I, I know Tommy. And when you're pushing him, and, and, you know, he knows we. we I, I've always tried to battle him, and we battled out there. But I love these guys, and. You know, I've always said to Tommy as a player when he was a freshman, he'd been mad at me and I would tell my son, I don't care if Tommy, I'm gonna know Tommy for the rest of my life. But I told Corey, you know, I owe these guys for the rest of their lives and um, we're competitive and he, he has his father's pedigree, you know, his father's a pro and, and there's been time, and that's when you know your players it is, when they can challenge you back in that huddle and, and uh, he had, he, he's challenged me a few times and we both respond. And, he doesn't know as a as a person, as a coach, he has pushed me when he doesn't need it. It's always like the coach and the player, but when you got guys who come this far with you and they they respond back to you in a way that, you know, they, they made me better, um, you know, over the last four years and and when, when when those guys do everything that you ask them to do and you know, I, I wish I could just take their pain. I mean you saw the emotion that these guys are showing, and I never saw the emotion that he showed coming off the court. And um, I had never experienced it, that before. And I told the team that went right to my core, because um, he's not a man of many words. Um, so to show that emotion, I don't know how I did uh, cry at that moment. I was really trying, and people were uh, just even turned around to the bench to see the support, the alumni come out and support these guys. Man, what a run. I mean, what do you say to a team um, you know, we're 28 and 3? And these guys are extremely special. I think I invited everybody up in the locker room, and it, it was as tough as it was. I just, we're going to celebrate these guys. Um, we're going to celebrate them tonight, uh, regardless. And uh, I, I asked every parent, and the one guy that was there, let's go out and let's, let's celebrate these men. We've never been a group that ever, you know, even when we lost, we never, uh, when, uh, I, we thought we had the best bus. Uh, we thought we had the best bus in America. I remember a couple of years ago, Vermont had that bus. When they beat Syracuse, they always talked about their bus. Sure. But I, I, I think I've had the best losing buses in the country because we never, and these guys will be fine. You know, we lost the first night out in right. Oregon. And the coach came in at shooting around the next day and he goes, man, you guys, and I said, oh yeah, they're, they're like this. And he, he didn't, I mean, it was, that's hard to believe, right? Sure. And then we come back and we play, and I just remember that I told him the way he shook his head, like, what the? Yeah. But we, because they were really good. I mean, they were, they, they were big like this team, and, 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 and um, that was just an outstanding win, right? I think the, the even kill with these guys keep, uh, that's why they've had this success, and you, you hate to see it end. Tom, you, you left it all out on the on the floor tonight. Thirty points, played the whole game in a hot gym. Last game, what are what are you thinking right now? What are your thoughts? Um, <clears throat> honestly, I just you know no one wants to lose, uh, but hey, there's only one winner in the country. Only one team can go home for the championship. Only one team doesn't feel this feeling that we're feeling right now. Um, I only want to do it with another team, uh, side by side with my best friend. Um, I mean, just trying to be grateful, honestly, for everything that, trying to remember everything. You know, the four years that was good. Um, just tr trying not to dwell on it, uh, but it's, just, it's, definitely, it's definitely difficult. Corey, you were part of that big run at one point, and unfortunately, you left the court a little earlier, I'm sure, than you anticipated tonight. But, you know, similar to Tom, can you just kind of just digesting a little bit of this game, just a little bit. I mean, you guys have one heck of a, a really impressive senior season, and, um, and you guys really did highlight a lot of the New England D3 um, players this year. So I don't know if you want to just kind of talk about just also the season as a whole, the game, um, you know, just kind of leaving it on the court. I'm sure, again, you would have liked to have a few more minutes instead of having to leave a little earlier. First of all, Tom's my brother. I don't want to do it with anybody else in the country. Me and him side by side, going at it 24 7. And I just feel we left it out there on the court. We gave it all we had. We said that's what we're going to do in the locker room. We're going to give it all we had. And if somebody's going to be there, they're just going to be happy, better than us. 
all in all. And I feel like that's what we did. Me, Tom, Rob, just giving them what we had 24 7. Don, I, I agree with that. They were better than us tonight. And, and, but I, I just thought we just battled right to the end. That's all you can ask your guys to do. Tom, Corey, talk about just the accomplishment. This is, is an accomplishment just for the program, but for the school as a whole. No school, no school program has gone this far. What does it mean to you to really set the bar for the rest of the athletic department for the whole school? Uh, I mean, since I've been there, uh, we always had teams win GNAC championships or things like that. But uh, hopefully, we can just I mean, inspire teams to just try to get that extra game. And it means a lot that uh, we have the support of the school behind us 100%. And just the support that we've had throughout our run, throughout our season, throughout my career. Honestly, it just it gets better and better every year. And um, I mean, I, if there's a better school in the country to play at, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where it would be at, so I'm just happy for my time. We have a great support staff. You know, I love the Jew on campus. I love every man that comes to this play. When I came to the gym and I seen, when we came on the locker room, I seen everybody, everybody here for the game. I was just like, wow. like. Why me, out of all people? Why me to get this treatment? Why me to be out there doing in the C16 against us? But I just want to thank my family, the coaching staff, God, and everybody who's made this possible for me these four years. And I just want to thank Johnson and Wells for taking me in and letting me do what I do. Thank you. Well, thank you guys, and congratulations on a great season.